Members of Occupy Austin have discovered that their arrests on felony charges after a protest last December are directly linked to equipment provided by a police detective who infiltrated their group. On December 12th, members of Occupy Austin joined protesters from around the region to block a street entrance to the Port of Houston. The action was done in solidarity with Occupy activists who tried to shut down ports on the West Coast in support of the embattled longshoremen. Seven of the protesters in Houston locked their arms together using locks hidden inside PVC pipes, a device known as a lockbox or a sleeping dragon or dragon sleeves. While most of the demonstrators were charged with misdemeanors, those using the lockboxes were charged with felony use of a, quote, criminal instrument. Well, evidence in the case now reveals that an undercover detective with the Austin Police Department not only bought the equipment to make the devices, he also designed them, put them together, and dropped them off for the group to use. The defendants in the case recently revealed Detective Shannon Dowell was the protester they knew as Butch after Austin police at first denied they'd infiltrated the group. Part of uh, the um, direct action committee was tasked with um, sort of coming up with ways to uh, block the, the road. And um, Shannon Dowell, who we knew as Butch, was uh, one of the members of that committee. And they worked on um, those plans to develop uh, the um, the, the sit-in uh, logistics, and um, Shannon went out to the store, got the materials off the shelves, and uh, assembled and manufactured the devices, and then, and then dropped them off with, uh, with the rest of the protesters uh, for use out in Houston. Now, did you know Butch? Um, what did you think of him? How did you, how did he join your group, this man that has now been identified as an Austin police officer um, uh, named McDowell? Well, um, yeah, I mean, I certainly have, have spoken with Butch in the past. Uh, I liked his beard. Um, I recognized him uh, from meetings that we had uh, that we had gone to for Occupy Austin. I, I would say since probably the beginning. Um, like I said, I, I liked his beard, and so it's kind of recognizable. Um, and he just was showing up to general assemblies and other um, small meetings. And then when eventually we had the the port action, uh, he became interested and involved with that group.